Hello students. In this video, we are going to study about the power shovel, which is a type of excavation equipment. Now, what is a power shovel? It is a basic equipment to excavate the earth and to load the trucks. It is a long lasting and useful equipment for the excavation purpose. It is the capable of excavating all types of earth except the hard rock. But with prior loosening, it can be used. <coughs> now, uh, it is classified into two types that is, the crawler mounted or the wheel mounted. The crawler mounted has less speed but it is effective in unstable soils while the wheel mounted power shovel has more speed and it is effective on the firm ground. Next, the size of power shovel. Now, the size of the power shovel is indicated by the size of the bucket. The bucket is also called as a dipper. The size here is expressed in cubic meters or cubic yards. The general size of the power shovel is 0.375 meter cube to 5 meter cube. Now, in measuring the size of the dipper or the bucket, the earth, that is the soil, is struck within the dipper. So, this struck soil or the earth is called as the struck volume. Now, next, it is the bank measure volume. Now, what is bank measure volume? Uh, it is calculated as the loose volume with uh, the swell index. We will see the example. Here we can see a 2 cubic yard dipper or a bucket excavating a soil whose swell index is 25% is able to fill the dipper to its struck volume. Find the bank measure volume. So the bank measure volume is calculated as the loose volume upon 1 plus the swell index. So the swell index here is given as 25%, that is 0.25. So, loose volume is given as 2, that is the volume of the dipper. So, 2 upon 1.25, that is 1.6 cubic yards. Now, we will see the basic parts of a power shovel. It is a cable controlled power shovel. So, here we can see a track system, a cabin, cables, bucket, saddle block, boom, boom point, stick. And a rack. Now we will see the operations that are done for the power shovel. So the first operation is that the power shovel is moved into a required position and the it and it is placed in such a way that the excavation phase should be within the reach of the equipment. Now next the bucket stick. In the previous diagram we have seen the shape of the bucket. It is on the outward direction. So the bucket stick is lowered and the cables are moved. A bite is made into the ground. As the bucket is having the teeth, the boom or the stick of the power sho shovel are moved. The bite is made into the ground with the help of the teeth of the bucket. Now the next step is by moving bucket forward, the earth gets excavated. Next step, the bucket gets filled with the excavated material. Next, the bucket is swung back to the required position. Next, by opening the flap of the bucket, the excavated earth is unloaded into the waiting truck. And hence, the cycle is repeated. Again, the power shovel is kept in the required position. The excavation phase is decided. It should be uh, it, it should be within the reach so the cycle repeats on now this is a table for the ideal output for the cable operated power shovel factors affecting output of power shovel the first is the class of material next depth of cutting angle of swing job conditions management condition size of hauling unit, 
skill of operator and the physical condition of the shovel here we will see the effect of depth of the cut on the output of the power shovel so if the depth of the face is too shallow the power shovel will be in a very difficult position so the dipper won't be fill in one pass time cycle now what is time per cycle the time per cycle is the time required to excavate the earth to fill the earth and to dump it into the loader and to haul to the required place this is the one pass time cycle so if the depth is too shallow the cycle time will increase or else uh, the operator may carry a partly filled dipper to the hauling unit cycle hence the output will be reduced the second condition is that if the depth is greater if the depth is greater he may reduce the depth of penetration of the dipper into the face in order to fill the dipper in one full stroke this will increase the time for the cycle but this digging will remove the lower portion later so the output will affect here too now there are some formulas which are to be used for the uh, optimum depth calculation that is we find the optimum cut that is the percentage of the optimum cut as the division of actual depth and optimum depth multiplied by 100 here we get the value of the optimum depth in percentage next the effect of angle of swing on the output of power shovel the angle of swing is always horizontal and is expressed in degree how it is expressed in degree because it is the angle between the position of the bucket when it is excavating and the position when it is discharging the load next point the angle of swing is increased for the time for the cycle and as the time for the cycle is increased the output will be decreasing so all the parameters are in relation so the angle of swing should not be increased okay so the other table is given for the conversion factor for the depth of the cut and the angle of swing this table will be used for the solving of numericals next effect of job conditions every owner of a power shovel knows that no two excavation jobs are same so there can be no control over certain conditions here the job conditions can be classified as the good job fair job and poor job so each job planner must use his own judgment and experience in deciding which condition best represents his or her job so these conditions must be considered in estimating the probable output of a power shovel the effect of management conditions the attitude of a owner of the shovel uh, makes a great impact on the operation of the shovel as uh, if the owner will not improve the job conditions he may take several steps that he will not do the job so the owner should take a step such that uh, the job condition should be proper and should improve the management condition so that the output will be proper here the management conditions are classified as excellent good fair and poor uh, the table is given that is a coefficient related to management and job condition this table is also used for a uh, numerical solving purpose next the application of power shovel the first application is that it is the most suitable equipment for the close range type of work second the power shovel can remove big sized boulders the third one is it is used in various types of jobs such as digging in the gravel bank clay pits road works and the road paths thank you